Hi guys, welcome to another video from the Career Launcher MBA segment. What we want to discuss today is basically decoding NMAT 2019 and ensuring that you can go ahead and score upwards of 210 in the NMAT exam. Now, why do I say 210 to start off with? Well, if you look at the NMAT exam right from 2011 to 2018, the cutoff has always ranged between 206 to 210. That means scoring 210 or above is basically going to ensure that you get a call from Nasi Munji. And when I talk about Nasi Munji, I mean Nasi Munji Mumbai, which is basically the premium B school under the NMAT banner. So that is the first point to keep in mind that the score that we are looking at is a score of 210 and above. Now there are three sections in NMAT as we all know. One section and I'll keep it very simple uh, in terms of terminologies. The first section is verbal, let's call it verbal. Second section, let's call it reasoning. Third section, let's call it quant. Let's keep it as simple as that. The advantage of the NMAT exam is basically, you know, something which is very unique for an online exam you get to decide the order in which you want to attempt the sections. No other paper allows that. Which means you get to decide which section goes first and which sections come, comes right at the end. Now, ideally, the way I like to do it is slightly different. So what I like to do generally is I want to start off with the reasoning section. And why do I say that? You have 38 minutes to attempt 40 questions and a lot of those questions are verbal reasoning, critical reasoning, you know, statement assumption, statement conclusion, inference based. Not easy, it takes time. So I would prefer that my mind is the freshest that it can possibly be when I want to approach these questions. So 38 minutes, 40 questions, even in those 38 minutes, if I get 28 to 30, very good serious attempts and then the remaining 10-12 questions are just guesses. Why guesses you ask? Once again, you need to keep in mind there is no negative marking in NMAT, so do guess. So 28 serious attempts, say about 10-12 guesses and all guesses would be the same. I generally like to go with C because C is a favorite option of mine considering my school, yeah, no jokes there. But yeah, having said that, what generally happens is out of those 28 questions, even if you get about 25 right, and out of those 12 guesses, even if two or three work out, you're scoring roughly around 27. 27 into three means 81. Now, even if it's not 81, but somewhere around the 75 mark, you've done brilliantly, which means net correct 25 out of 40 attempts. Keep that in mind. The next thing that I like to pick up is basically quant. And why do I do that? Because the first section reasoning tested me on speed as well as accuracy. Quant is not testing us on both parameters. 48 questions in 60 minutes and questions not being very difficult means it is actually testing you on one parameter, which is accuracy. Even if you attempt just about 30 to 35 questions, but your accuracy is close to 100%, you've done great. So the way I like to approach it is, in general, there are about four sets of DI. Sometimes we've seen there are five sets. So let me assume 16 questions of DI. Could be 20, but let's assume 16, okay? So 60 minus 16, 44 questions of quant. Out of those 44, if I spend roughly about 45 minutes and I'm able to attempt even 30 questions and say I get about 25 right, good place to be in 75 in my locker. Now we go ahead and we in the remaining 15 minutes, we look at the DI sets. Now the four DI sets in 15 minutes, even if I'm able to do three DI sets, five minutes per set, that is 12 questions and you get just nine right. That's 75 plus 2702. With a little bit of normalization that comes up, you'll still score a 90. 75 and 90, 165 marks in your pocket. Now you move on to verbal. Verbal in general, when it comes to NMAT, is more a game of speed, mainly because the questions that come are more from grammar and the RC that comes up is generally easy to read with mostly factual answers. So in verbal, the way to approach it, and this is what I generally do, is I start off with the RCs. The two RCs, if I give myself about eight to 10 minutes for these two RCs of eight questions, the remaining questions go like this, synonyms, antonyms, grammar, it just flows quickly. So the last 12 to 14 minutes, you can easily go ahead and attempt about 20 to 22 questions. So let's say the serious attempts in verbal are say about 25. You know, in RC, six serious attempts in verbal, say 18 serious, say let's make it 24. The remaining eight questions could be guesses. Out of these 24, even if you get 18 right and out of the guesses you get two right, that is still a score of 60. You know, with normalization, say it's around 57. You had 75, you had 90 and now you have a 55. 
This means some total takes you up to 220. Following this strategy generally ensures a 210 plus. Also, it ensures that the sectional cutoffs are cleared while ensuring that you don't feel that you are racing against time because the quant section gave you two minutes to relax right at the beginning and probably one minute to relax just before you jumped into the verbal section. So three minutes of the quant section are to be utilized as a relaxation, remaining 57 minutes to actually go out there and work. Apply this strategy, hope it works out. In case of issues, do feel free to reach out to us. As always, all the very best for NMAT. Career Launcher. Make your parents explode with joy.